Hello there, good evening and welcome to Game On with CSN. Well, it's a wonderful evening and I'm here with a special guest and we are going to talk about a very, very, very interesting topic today. Well, I would like to introduce my guest uh, without beating around the bush. He is the CEO of uh, Commonwealth Games uh, Hambantara 2018, professional marketing and management consultant, uh, past president of SLIM and also former chairman of National Sports Council, is Nalin Atikale. Good evening and welcome to the show. Good evening, good evening. Uh, Okay, it's a very interesting topic, like I said, we're going to talk, that is about the Commonwealth Games. And uh, yes, we, we just completed the bidding process. Um, can you explain to us uh, why Hamban Thutta and like, you know, how it all started? Well, it's a very pertinent question that a lot of people used to ask this. Uh, may I start uh, how we, we begin the whole, whole mm -hmm. thing? Uh, way back, uh, I should say about 18 months ago, uh, there was a idea came from the Honorable Namal Rajapaksa that we should have a sporting village in Hambantota. In the meantime, I was instrumental in to have a warm weather training center. So we got together the idea, then the sports village and the warm weather training center should be in Hambantota. So that's uh, some kind of a privilege that we could give to uh, the underprivileged uh, people like, okay, everything was in Colombo. So I used to say, why only Colombians, <laughs> the word that I used to have. So in the meantime, when I'm browsing through the uh, web, etc., which is part of my life, and the, then we found this uh, Commonwealth Games 2018, and the bidding process is open. So then we had a serious chat, myself and Honorable Namal Rajapaksa, we had a serious chat and let's see, why not we have a target to set up entire sporting village with this. So we have a goal now. So that's how it, it begins. Then uh, initial papers has to be submitted to them, to the Commonwealth Games Federation in UK, which of course at that time there's no office. Of course, I have my own consultancy office. So with the uh, assistance of the Honorable Namal, and His Excellency's uh, President uh, Mahindra Rajapaksa's guidance, uh, we forward the initial papers. At that time, it was not publicly known, but of course, we, we knew what are we heading for, and we submit the papers. Mm -hmm. So that's how it begins. Then the next stage, that was the first slap on the relay, I should say. Mm -hmm. So the next stage came, then the, uh, we are coming towards the uh, bid lodgement situation, uh, and uh, his Excellency the President officially appointed the committee, consists of very high-powered people, and uh, chaired by the uh, Governor of the Central Bank, Ajit Nivad Kabral. So subsequent to that, then the Honorable Sports Minister, Mahinda Anadalud Gamage also came, and it's a co-chair. Today the situation is that we have a co-chair with Honorable Sports Minister Mahinda Anadalud Gamage and uh, Governor Ajit Nivad Kabral. And we have a, okay, I go as a chief executive officer of the uh, bid, and we have a high powered team. I, I, if I um, try to mention the names, of course, we are, we are getting onto some other area. Mm -hmm. So that's how we started. And then the bid lodgement just concluded in 11th May, which we probably we might have to ta talk about it a little later. Mm -hmm. And you asked the question, why Hambantota? Mm -hmm. Now, this is the multi-million dollar question by a lot of people. Why Hambantara? Why not Colombo? To me, as a professional who are really looking at the country's development uh, on that perspective, uh, if you look at the macro perspective on the entire island, you have to look at uh, how can we conduct this kind of a program. It's not, uh, it's not a small one. In a place where looking at the entire country. So in that context, we looked at. It's not because of the Honorable Namal Rajapaksa coming from Hambantota. But of course, the present infrastructure has been built there. Even without knowing the Commonwealth uh, game, I mean, before, well before that, the port, the seaport is being done. You mean to say even before you start working, you started working on the Commonwealth Games issue, there were already uh, infrastructure was in place. It is, I mean, seaport okay. is there, and the airport is being built, and there are the targets have been set to uh, ceremonially open the even the airport, international airport in Hambantara, Mattala, mm -hmm. in uh, uh, 2012. So, international cinema village is there, then the international conference center has been there, then the 
railways and the road, the infrastructure, all these things are building up. So then, I mean, it was a unanimous decision, we will go there. There's another so many reasons that which we can justify why Hambantut and why not Colombo. I will tell further things. The my vision and ent entire team also being debated on the whole this particular issue. Now we, we, let's look at uh, sports tourism part. Mm -hmm. So let's look at uh, from Hambantut, uh, how can we reach to the other de destinations in destination marketing in tourism mm -hmm. per se within a couple of hours today, but by 2018, it may be 45 minutes the max, you can go to the winter climate. Mm -hmm. Another couple of hours, you can go to the Arugambe, that area, the finest beaches in the world. And also in Hambantota itself, just beside that you have the Jala, the wildlife, you have the Boondala, then the bird sanctuary, I mean the beaches, mm -hmm. the, then the archeological sites. It can be positioned as one of the the most interesting tourism hubs in the world, which we have not exploited. I mean, everybody knows that we had a three decade old unwarranted war. Now, because of this particular war, we were not being able to expose ourselves. We were not being able to position Sri Lanka properly. But today, I don't think that anybody can give any excuses. They have to do their job of work. So that's why I, I always say very lovingly to all the Sri Lankans, all the people, Look at this positively. The, this kind of a program, which is second only to the Olympics, multi-sports event, okay, it's, it's bigger than the World Cup also, in, in numbers of the multi-sports situation. So if we, if we bring that to the country, that will be a total boost for the country. Also, why Hambantota is I have explained, and why not Colombo? Also, let me just give a little briefing <laughs> in a couple of minutes. We have one infrastructure here that is a. Uh, well, it's, it's not, uh, we'll talk about like, I mean, it's not why not Colombo, why Hambantutta, or maybe why not any other places. Uh, okay, fine, that's right. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, if you, the, you, you are right, you are right, okay. Now, if you look at the sporting infrastructure, a lot of people bet on the, okay, Colombo because it's, we have something that's Sugata Das indoor stadium and the outdoor stadium. Now, I am a part of. Uh, last biggest event held, sporting event held in Sri Lanka, which is the South Asian, I'm referring to the multi-sport, mm -hmm. South Asian Games. I was bas basically involved thoroughly with that and everybody knows how it has been pulled, of course, uh, with the uh, uh, National Olympic Committee President, Hema Siri Fernando. And the difficulties what we undergone during that particular time, and that is where I'm referring to 2006, but today the status of the, that infrastructure is far behind relative to the international arena, other sports stadiums. So if we to refurbish that, it will also cost a fair amount of money. On top of that, we, we can't have a, the required amount of the space to have other sporting sports. Even the parking, a lot of problems will be there. What will happen end of the day, like the India, phases during their Delhi games in 2010, you have to have a lot of evacuation of people, mm -hmm. which will end up in a big, it's uh, be a big mess, big mess for the everybody, for the people, for the country, for the government and all that. So that's why. If you look at the other uh, towns, major towns in the country, we don't have a, that big infrastructure and, and the space is a problem. If you look at Hambantota, of course, we are not even putting down any trees. We are very environmental friendly. This is going to be a green commonwealth. Mm -hmm. And we are just clearing only the bush jungle. So that's, that's where I, I am coming from for the, this particular question. Mm -hmm. um, well, it, it seems to be very interesting. But um, do you think that we have a positive chance actually winning the bid uh, soon after India staging the games, back to back in the Asian countries? Yeah, if you look at the total history of these uh, Commonwealth Games, how it started. Now, the original idea of them is to, okay, let's give the chance for the developing nations. Let's get them to host the Games. And we, let's give some grants for them, for the sportsman's development, etc. But eventually, that has been changed, and only few countries, hand in hand, only they are conducting it. 
if you look at the whole Asia, only two times Asia has been given the opportunity. That is, in 1998 uh, Kuala Lumpur and 2010 in Delhi. Now, from 2010 Delhi to it is moving again to the Europe. That's the Glasgow in UK. Mm -hmm. They will have it. And 2018 was coming back to the competition situation with us and the Australia. City Hambantar, Sri Lanka, and the City Gold Coast, Brisbane, Australia. Now, Australia also falls, okay, I'm talking about the Asia, only just two times up to now. If you look at the Australia falls of the Oceania, they have held the Commonwealth Games seven times. Mm -hmm. So, Brisbane is also a part of that. Mm -hmm. So, we are what our appeal is, well, give us opportunity. We are also an island nation, and there are so many island nations in the Commonwealth family. So, let us show an example to other island nations. Look here, we also can do this. And another example which I'm used to say is uh, people say, okay, India did this, how can Sri Lanka? India actually messed it up. Yeah, I, I, will, I will rather rather put it this way. India was a little uh, behind in their planning, but they have eventually they have put up a state-of-the-art uh, infrastructure, stadiums. I have been inspected each and every stadium in uh, India, prior to games, after the games, during the games. So th those stadiums are excellent, but only thing is their pre-planning was poor. But I don't want to compare with India and Sri Lanka, but I will definitely compare KL, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and Sri Lanka. Why? It's a more or less, I mean, both countries have some similarities. And, and I must give this particular message to the entire Sri Lankans, the sporting fans and the young and the old, young old, everybody should understand this. If you can read certain books, okay, I will invite you to read the Dr. Mahathir Mohamad's biography. There's a one chapter talking about the Commonwealth Games. Now, he had a vision. Okay, everybody knows the 2020 vision of the Dr. Mahathir Mohamed. If you look at the way back in 1990s, how the Malaysia was and today, now that's the example I think we Sri Lankans should take. We always take the Singapore example, but I'm now focused on the Commonwealth Games, and that is why I'm taking KL, Malaysia. In 1991, Dr. Mahathir Mohamed, he saw the opportunity, okay, this is a great, a grand opportunity, golden opportunity. If he can bid and win the games, I can increase my tourism, the economy, etc., etc. So what he did, he put his all bets on that. And he said, before I retire from my premiership, I should be there to host the games. And that vision really worked out because you can have a, you can have a vision and you, if you have the proper strategy, the realization is not that difficult. Mm -hmm. and, and also he, easy to execute. That's easy to execute because you have, a, you, have a plan. Plan. you have a plan. So 1991, they like us. 1991, they bid. After seven years, 1998, they held a successful first Asian country to have uh, held the Commonwealth Games. Now, coming back to Sri Lanka, that's why I'm comparing that. Look at the resources and everything is more or less same. The climate is, conditions, all that is more or less same. So we also now in now bidding 2011, another seven years down the line, 2018, we want to have the games in Sri Lanka. That's how uh, my what comparison is. Yeah, similarities. Yes. Yeah.